Josh Smith with GodbyMobile.com here, showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S and iPad 2 with the AbSynth tool. So first thing you need to do is download this tool and make sure your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 is updated to iOS 5.0.1, unless you need to unlock your iPhone. So once you have that done, back up your iPhone and plug it in. As you can see here, we have our iPhone 4S plugged in. First thing I'm going to do is hit jailbreak. So we're going to connect. It's going to start the jailbreak process. This might take a little while, so we're going to zip ahead, but be aware that you know you might be sitting here for a few minutes while this happens. Right now, the jailbreak process is continuing, and we have a restore in progress showing on our iPhone. And we'll give you a quick image of what your iPhone should look like right now. So our device is in the process of booting. It's almost completely booted over here on the iPhone side. And once it boots up, we will move on to the next screen. Okay, now we're actually starting the jailbreak process. So I have a lock screen on my phone, and the Absent tool is sending the data over here. Make sure you don't play around with your device. Let the jailbreak complete. All right, once we get to this step, the jailbreak is pretty much done. All we need to do is turn on our iPhone. I'm just going to unlock it. Now just tap on the jailbreak icon, which is actually Absynth. If this doesn't work right away, you'll want to go to settings and toggle VPN on. Uh, that failed for me, but then the jailbreak completed. You'll know that it completes because what will happen is your iPhone will restart. After it restarts, tap on the Cydia icon that you see right here. Your iPhone will install some more files and restart. After that restart is complete, you'll have a jailbroken iPhone. Head over to gottobemobile.com for more details on how to jailbreak your iPhone, reasons you might not want to, and some of the top picks for apps for your jailbroken iPhone 4S and iPad 2.